Hello everyone, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy, and today I'm gonna go see Mission Impossible Fallout. It is the sixth one in the Mission Impossible series. <laughs> when they first announced the name of the movie, Mission Impossible Fallout, I, I sort of laughed because they really, they really, they had to go with Fallout, like just the one word Fallout, like. Um, I granted not a lot of movies has the name Fallout in it, but it's just, it's, it's, to me, like, when I think Fallout, the first thing I think of is the video game series. So I, I laughed about that, but, um, I, I don't think it's that great of a name for, especially for the Mission Impossible series, but I don't know, maybe this movie will, uh, prove me wrong. Maybe it'll be like, no, Fallout is the perfect name for this movie. I'm super excited to see what uh, Tom Cruise does stunt-wise, and you know what, um, I mean, you could diss the Mission Impossible franchise all you want, but you, you gotta, you gotta admire, you gotta appreciate what Tom Cruise has been doing to this franchise. Like, like the last, since the fourth movie, so the fourth, fifth, and sixth one, He's like, he's like, he realizes, you know, it's like, let's make this even better. Let's do even more. Let's, uh, let's push ourselves every movie. And, and instead of just doing more formulaic, more, uh, the same stuff, uh, let's try doing something different each and every time and keeps upping it. And so this one has, I assume a lot of stunts by <laughs> by him um i mean i've heard he, he broke his uh was his foot or his, yeah, he uh, he he broke his ankle or whatever doing a the stunt where he's jumping from rooftop to rooftop and he's supposed to miss the rooftop and then climb up that's when he landed his foot wrong up against the building and it just snapped so um they had to halt production for several i think a couple months or something like that um but it's just you, you got to appreciate the effort you know at the very least um but the cool thing about mission impossible is that the first like the first three movies each one was incredibly different and each one had sort of like a different famous director um and then the fourth one um had uh, i think it was brad bird and uh J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams wasn't directing. J.J. Abrams directed the third one, but he produced the fourth one, and he was a major part of that one. Um, and I think he might have produced the fifth and sixth one. Not sure. But I know the director who did the fifth one is doing the sixth one, and I think that's the same director who did Edge of Tomorrow, which I really love. I really love that movie. Um, I think he said he might do uh, the second one to that one. Anyways... Enough about that. Um, Mission Impossible Fallout. I have seen the trailer. Like, I didn't want to see the trailers, but it's just, it's like a part of me was like, I kind of want to see how they do these trailers because I love one of the best trailers. One of my favorite trailers of all time was the fourth one. The one where um, they play M&M's Won't Back Down. Like, I think that's that was an extremely well done trailer and it's memorable. So I think they might have advertised this movie a little too much and I think they might have shown a little too much. But for the most part, most of the movie is, um, I mean, a bit of it spoiled in the sense of like, okay, they're going to end up in a situation like this. They're going to end up like a situation like this. But my question is, how do you bridge those situations together? So. And that's the parts the trailers really don't show most of the time. So, um, kind of excited just to see how this movie, just overall script-wise and everything, just works. It's kind of hard to compare the newer Mission Impossible from the older Mission Impossible because the older Mission Impossible, the the directors like Brian De Palma did the first one, and you can tell it's sort of a Brian De Palma type film, and then the the second one was John Woo and it, it, those two movies are two drastically different action films altogether. Well, I, I would argue the first one's more suspense, but actually, no, there, there was a decent amount of action in that one as well. But, like, uh, like each one's just drastically sort of different style and everything. So when they got to the fourth one, fourth and fifth one, they sort of they seem more focused on doing it more 
consistently in the sense of trying to find its own same style instead of doing a drastically different style each movie. Um, which I can see why they want to do that, but at the same time, part of me is like, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if they just keep, you know, changing the director and just keep doing a drastically d different style of Mission Impossible for each one while still continuing the plot? Like, I, I think that would be really cool, but um, it seems like more they're more streamlining it now, but it looks good. So, I'm super excited to watch... <laughs> Mission Impossible Fallout. It's gonna be hard to get used to that name. They couldn't. They couldn't name it two names. Like it went Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and now it's just Fallout. Yeah, they couldn't name it something else. Fallout, like Project Fallout, Fallout again. I I can't think of any names off the top of my head that would be good for it. So, anyways, uh, time to go. See, Mission Impossible Fallout. I already said that. Stop repeating yourself, Mitchell. Ah. Because this movie just came out, I am not going to uh, spoil anything. Um, sorry for the lack of light. I totally forgot to do my review as I was getting home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thinking about the movie, I really enjoyed it. The stunts and action scenes, like the big ticket event reason to go see this movie is, you know, it's worthwhile, especially in IMAX, uh, especially the helicopter scene in particular. Uh, definitely, um, yeah, I really enjoyed the film, it felt a lot more memorable than the fifth movie, um, but I still like the fifth one, it's at this point where it's like, there's some things that are not that great, which I felt like could, could have been done better, um, but a lot of it was good, I had a positive experience, really enjoyed it. Particularly the middle part of this film, I think was definitely really, really strong. I'm still getting used to saying Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, I can see why it's named Fallout. I just kind of wish they stuck with the two, two word naming that they've been doing. Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, Fallout. I swear, if the next one's called Aftermath, there are references to the other films and all that, and I think it was done really well. Uh, for some reason, I was kind of thinking this is the equivalent of Spectra for the James Bond franchise, but Spectra, uh, the way it brought everything together was really crap. This is an example of a really good way, but no, Spectra's uh, cinematography was off the charts. <laughs> Where this movie had some good, good, it had pretty good cinematography overall, but it wasn't like Spectra, Skyfall, um, Blade Runner type cinematography. It was more like above average action film cinematography. Uh, it was cool seeing locations, and and I'm I'm shocked because I talked about the specific jump where he broke his leg. Um, they actually, I am shocked they kept him limping after right after getting up from that thing and uh, from that accident so i'm actually surprised they kept that much in i am i'm totally shocked the music was definitely um really good compared to the fifth one i felt the fifth one overall the music was a bit more bland fourth one and which reminds me i i have to pick up the soundtrack to the fourth one and the and this one because i i really like those ones Intro credit, I felt was a little bit paper cut compared to the, it just, it felt like they're like, they played it safe. It felt like it felt it was a little too heavy on showing clips from the movie, uh, because I know that's the style for Mission Impossible, but the first four was a little more vague when it came to showing clips and all that. This one felt like it just showed clips and just added a little bit of flames um fire effect but um so it just felt a little more lame especially the the going into the thing because the, like the fifth one may have overall been not as memorable but um 
I remember distinctly the intro because it was the big stunt, plane stunt, and then it went into credits after that moment. This one just had not that big of a punch, but once again, if you keep building it up and doing more and more and more, eventually at some point you're going to end up with something that's not as amazing. I mean, that's the problem that the Fast and Furious... Uh, franchises ran into is because they've gone so big and so over the top that it's like how do you outdo something that's outdone everything you know um so mission impossible still feels quite fresh especially with uh them there was a lot of things that was unexpected uh, that's what i was gonna say unexpected the trailer um even though i saw a lot of things in the trailers uh, there was so much of the movie that was left up as a surprise. That's why I'm doing my absolute best to not spoil anything specific or anything anything that would be major or whatnot. If you've seen the trailer and you're like, oh, the trailer showed the whole movie, the trailer did not show the whole movie. Oh my gosh, there was a lot of uh, unexpected things and, and the ordering of the scenes. I'm like, this is not how I imagined it would play out and all that. And there was things in the trailer that are not in the film or altered heavily in the film. I'm surprised they did this. Um, I have to actually go back and look at the original trailer because I want to see what's the scene that they altered. Um, and I liked that they did that because I was expecting that scene. I'm like, where's this scene going to fit in? Or this specific shot that was in the trailer and all that. It kind of wasn't even in it. So, wow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend it's worth the price of admission um, for IMAX. Well, I felt it was overall just to experience those stunts and whatnot on the big screen and all that. Like, it, it, Tom Cruise has made a spectacle out of Mission Impossible. What crazy thing are they going to attempt to do next and all that? And so if you like action films, this one should be on your list to at least watch once. Absolutely. Um, especially if you've seen the other five films. Thank you very much for watching. I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of Mission Impossible Fallout in the comments below. And check out my other stuff if you want. It's entirely up to you. Anyways, thanks again for watching.